I'm Dr. Jenna Bradley with Lipcore Strong, and today I'm going to teach you how to wear the 3-in-1 postpartum belly wrap that a lot of people are using on Amazon. Right now it sells for $20.98, really affordable. I highly recommend getting it. I used it for my last two of my four pregnancies, and it really worked. Really, it did. It worked amazingly. So I highly recommend it. Definitely want to check out um, my review of it. I go into a little bit more details on what I like about this product, but today I'm just going to be going over how to actually put it on the proper way. I'm a physical therapist. I do um, take into consideration the proper way to wear braces and um, back braces and different kinds of wraps. So I do want to teach you the correct way to wear this. A lot of people have a lot of trouble understanding what to do with it because it doesn't come with directions. So here are the directions today. Um, when you get it in the box, it comes with one little picture and the picture is pretty basic. So it does say that this is the first piece, okay? And you're gonna hold it with the bottom being flat and the top has the groove to it. You'll also see that the Velcro side is going to be facing your body, okay? So again, this is, what, this, this is what it looks like on the back. And then on the front, you want the Velcro side facing forward. You're gonna take this softer side and you're going to wrap it around your belly, okay? Try to estimate um, how high and how low. You don't wanna go too high, okay? Some people put it underneath their the breastbone, you don't want it that high. You actually want it a little bit lower. You want it to cover up your belly button. And my hip bone is right here. So you can see my hip bone is sort of right in the middle. Everyone's a little bit different. I'm sort of shorter framed, I'm 5'2". So this is where my hip bone is. And um, this is where my hip joint is. So this is the pelvis bone, this is the hip joint. Okay, so you're gonna wrap it around. You're going to hold this piece in place and pull this tight to go across. You wanna line it up so it's even. So mine's a little crooked, I'm gonna redo it. If you have a mirror to stand in front of, that would be a good way to start until you get the hang of it. And it looks like I'm a little offline, so I'm just gonna shift it a little bit. Okay, so this is the first piece. This is what it looks like from behind and from the side and then from the front. And then this is the other side. Okay, this does a really good job of drawing my belly in. Okay, so when you're postpartum and you're gonna have a, you know, your belly sticking out a little bit, that's okay. So as time goes, you wanna make it tighter each day. Another important thing that you wanna do is you wanna draw in your belly doing abdominal bracing when you put it on. So you actually wanna bring your belly button in as you're tightening it. So this is the first piece. The second piece looks like this. It has some wings attached to it. This is the back of it. And this is the side that's going to be facing you. And this one has a tag. And you want the tag on the bottom. So put that behind you. Start by holding the pieces equal like this. Okay, this is the Velcro part right here and then this is the soft fabric. You're going to do the same thing like you did with the first one. You're going to draw your belly button in, wrap the soft fabric around you, and then the Velcro across. Now, where do you want to position it on your torso? You actually want this low as well. So sometimes I pull it down or you can just start by starting lower. But again, you don't want this up high near your ribs. Okay, so this is what that looks like. There's a second part. There are these wings here. So you can see what that looks like. These have Velcro. Take the right side and go across the top. Take the left side and go across the bottom. This is where you're actually gonna feel a lot of that pressure and that tightening and support going on when you get those straps. This is something that you want to adjust over time. So if you are new with this, maybe just do small 
small pull across. And if you feel like you're ready for more support, then draw it to the midline. And if you're ready for advanced support, pull it all the way across. Uh-oh. Right there and right there. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there should be a midline, like a spine. That should align with your spine. So if you feel like the midline is over to the side, you want to adjust it so it's right in the middle. So that's why a mirror comes in handy if you want to just check to see if it's lined up. And again, pull down if you feel like it's riding up. This does tend to ride up sometimes, so make sure you're pulling it down. You want a lot of the pressure and the support down around your belly button area, okay? So it's not up high, it's down low. And this is the third piece. Okay, it has those wings again. This is the back of it. And then this also has a tag. This goes at the bottom. And put that behind you. Okay, make it pretty equal. Take the right side across and the left side across. Okay, this one is actually the pelvis. So you want this one low. Bring it down low. Okay? Down around your pelvis, down here. They so have the wings, and you're gonna go across and across. And then I'm feeling really good support down in this area now. Okay? This is what this one looks like. From behind, make sure it's all lined up. And there you go. That's how you wear the three-in-one postpartum belly wrap. If you have any questions, comment below and definitely subscribe if you like the video.